Well, thank you for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. We pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears our prayers and who answers them in His own perfect timing because His timing is perfect and it will always be perfect. Amen? Amen. And also, when we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this living word of God that brings salvation to you if you believe by faith alone and if you repent of your sins and if you do all that, it offers you eternal life with Him forever. Amen. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, thank you for tuning in to another encouragement video. I hope you guys are having a blessed, blessed day and finding joy in today. God is good, friends. There's a reason to, that we are alive. So find your reason and live for it, I should say. Um, brothers and sisters, we got a good topic that we're going to talk about. We're going to be talking about repenting and being baptized. How many of you need to hear that topic? I know I do. Um, today, brothers and sisters, we're going to be in Acts 2, verse 38. So if you have your Bibles with you, open them up, flip along, or turn them on, but don't go on social media. Uh, and, and don't text, don't call anyone. Um, but if you have your Bibles with you, open them up to Acts 2, verse 38. And while you're flipping that, I'll open us up, up, up in a brief time of prayer to our Heavenly Father who is worthy. Um, so let's pray. So Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for this time that we get to spend in the world. Thank you for allowing us time. Would you speak to each one of us? Teach us something new that we need to learn about you and your word, Lord. We love you, Lord. Help us love you more. Amen. All right, Acts 2, verse 38. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized. Everyone of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Can we read that one more time? There's a lot to unpack in here. Peter replied, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's talk. Brothers and sisters, what is this talking about? Peter, someone, I think he wrote Acts, I'm not quite positive, but Peter, um, someone that Jesus used to write part of the scriptures, a disciple of Jesus, he, he replied this, he said, repent and be baptized. Brothers and sisters, salvation is only by faith, by believing in God. What are we called to do every time we sin? We are called to repent of our sins and turn to God and ask for forgiveness. So he says, repent and be baptized. You are encouraged to be baptized. Yes, you will still be a Christian if you repent and believe by faith. You will still be a Christian. You will still be saved. But if you love God, you should, you're called to be baptized. Brothers and sisters, it's like, it's like wearing a wedding ring when you get married. You're not going to like say, yeah, Honey, uh, babe, I don't want to wear the, this wedding ring. Yeah, I love you, but I don't want to wear it. No, you wear it. Does it make you married by wearing a ring? No, it doesn't make you married, but it's a symbol that, that you're married. I could wear a wedding ring and I'm not even married. You know. But the symbols in life. And... Typically, people who wear wedding rings are typically who married. Some people probably wear wedding rings on the wedding ring, on the wedding ring finger, that are not married. But you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying. But Peter replied, "Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of who? Not in the name of yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ." The King of Kings, who gave his life for, for us on Good Friday on the, on the cross, who shed his blood for us. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name is powerful. And we are to repent and be baptized in his name alone. Amen? Once you do that. Yeah, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the what? 
forgiveness of your sins. We are sinful people. But if we are Christians, we were once sinners, but now we're saints. Which we'll talk about in another video. I promise we will. Um, and after you do that, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Once you are saved, once you believe by faith and repent of your sins, you are saved. And you have the Holy Spirit. And then, before you're saved, you don't have the Holy Spirit. But once you are saved, you have the free gift of the Holy Spirit in you. How amazing in this presence is this. It all comes from repenting, repenting, truly repenting, and asking God for forgiveness. And be baptized. But again, please say, don't hear me wrong. You don't have to be baptized. I mean, you're encouraged to be baptized, and I encourage all of you to get baptized. But if this is hesitating at you, if you're like, well, Shane, like, do I need to be baptized to become a Christian? You don't need to be baptized, but you are encouraged to be baptized. That's my encouragement for you all today. Um, just that we can repent. Time is coming, friends. Time is short. Today is a day of salvation, and we're going to do move on to the next part right now. If you've never come to God before or would like to come back to God right now, I'm going to give you the opportunity to, because today is a day of salvation, as it says in the scripture. Um, yeah, this topic that I preached today might be pretty hard for you to understand. You may be like saying, well, what does this even mean about all this stuff that you talked about? Well, we're going to get you on the right track for this topic to become easier for you to understand. And here's what you do. You pray a simple prayer of faith by, by believing this in your heart. By truly believing this and repenting. Repeat these words after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. I repent of all my sins and I turn to you, Lord. I cannot do this life without you. You're the only hope I have, Lord. And I invite you into my heart. Amen. Well, if you just pray that prayer today for the first time with us, or we pray that prayer, known as the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you into the family of God, welcome you back into the family of God. Because scripture says when one walks into the family of God, or one walks back in, heaven rejoices, and I rejoice with you. And I've been praying for this moment, because friends, brothers and sisters, this is truly the most important decision that you can ever make with your life. It dictates the history, it dictates the way, where you're going when you die, it dictates everything. So this is the most important decision. If you just made this decision today for the first time, or we commit your life to Christ, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone, because we want to give you resources the next steps to take on this important journey that you made today. We're not going to mock you. We're not going to press you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this journey. And most importantly, we just want to be praying for you, because we truly believe in the power of prayer. As you guys hear every time I open up the video, we do. Prayer works. Prayer changes people. Prayer grows people. Prayer is powerful because we're praying to the true and living God, right? If you don't if you don't know if that's correct, go back and watch every one of my openings in the video. We are praying to the true and living God. His word is active. It's alive. Brothers and sisters, can I bless you all with the benediction before I send you all on your way? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that being saved always comes with repenting for us and asking for forgiveness. And you are encouraged to be baptized. Brothers and sisters, thank you for tuning into this video. If you were encouraged by this video and feel like you need to encourage someone else with this, this news, please go share it, this, news, this news with them. The hope of them that you have. Don't hold it back. If you just need to talk or just need prayer, feel free to reach out. I'm here for you. God bless you all. Remember to keep Christ number one as always because God gave his life up for you. At least, and the least we can do is give our life up for him. Brothers and sisters, have a blessed day. Peace.